Okay. Well, it is now 12 o'clock noon. Um, thank you so much to those of you who are joining us for our second breakout session. Um, just want to do another test, make sure that our um, sound is working okay. So if you can hear me, if you wouldn't mind just typing yes right into that chat box. <coughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, everyone. So uh, you are in the MBA breakout session. So this is going to be a great opportunity to um, get a little bit of a deeper dive into the different modalities that we offer our MBA program. So just a few um, housekeeping items that you've probably seen in each of the breakout rooms is again, you've just been muted and that's in an effort to reduce any background noise. Um, please feel free as you have questions to type those directly into the chat box throughout the presentation. We will allow um, probably about five to eight minutes or so for questions at the end. So um, if it's not covered as we go, we'll make sure to get that um, for you. So please again, feel free to, uh, to put those in. So again, my name is Rebecca Mallon Churchill. I am your interim resource here today. I'm also the director of recruitment here at WP Carey. And I'm pleased to be joined with um, three of my colleagues here who work with our MBA programs. And I will let them introduce themselves. Thank you, Becky. Hi, everybody. My name is Stephen Treadwell. I'm an assistant director of student recruitment, and I work specifically on the full-time MBA. Hi, everybody. I'm Naomi Aid, and I will be working with you for those that are interested in our online MBA program. Welcome, everyone. My name is Brandi Niemeyer, and I work with our professional programs, including the Professional Flex MBA, Fast Track MBA, and Executive MBA. All right, thank you so much, everyone. So um, as the team has indicated, uh, these are the different MBAs that we offer. We really do have one MBA here at WP Carey, but offered in a number of different ways that can uh, work for you. So we're gonna take again about the next 10 minutes or so to go into detail about each one of these different modalities. One thing to note, however, regardless of how you attend, your um, diploma is all going to look exactly the same. So there is only one WP Carey MBA, and uh, regardless if you attend full-time, executive online, um, that is what will be on your diploma. We have some really amazing news too. As of yesterday, um, our MBA recently received a STEM designation as well. So for any of our international students who are looking for um, that STEM extension, this is a really wonderful piece of news um, for you. So. Without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Stephen, who's going to talk to you more in depth about our full-time program. Thank you so much, Becky. So for those of you who are interested in the full-time MBA, it is an on-campus experience and it is a two-year program. When you're taking the full-time MBA, please keep in mind that it is going to uh, have classes from Monday through Friday and you should expect to have teamwork, um, even over the weekends, we have a highly collaborative program as opposed to a competitive program. Um, so it is a very immersive experience. And we also have a forward focused curriculum. And so what that means is you will have a customizable experience. We do have seven different areas of emphasis that you can choose from. Uh, you would choose either a minimum of one or a maximum of two. And you can also pair that with one or two specializations. Um, I can tell you that we have a marvelous career management and employer engagement team, and they will work with students to help determine what areas of emphasis may be the best fit for you in order to get you to where you wanna be in your career. So just keep in mind, even if you're submitting an application and you decide to choose you know, maybe one or two different areas of emphasis initially, that can change um, as you experience your core MBA classes over the first year before you really start taking your elective classes um, in the second year. And some of the other fantastic aspects of our full-time MBA is we do have an initiative called Executive Connections. And this is where we pair you with C-suite level executives as mentors. And so they're going to meet with you on a consistent basis and tell you about all their successes or maybe some um, failures that they may have experienced within their professional careers. That way you get to learn from them before putting it in practice yourself when you actually start your career after getting your MBA. Um, but these individuals are going to have 15, 20, 30 plus years of industry experience 
and you will have your choice of who you'd like to be with and who you'd like to choose as your mentor. Um, I'd also like to mention our Fusion Learning Labs. So with our Fusion Learning Labs, uh, this was created in response to um, the mayor of Tempe wanting to move the city of Tempe uh, to, to sustainable energy by the year 2025. And so our fantastic faculty director, John Wisniewski, um, started pairing our business students with uh, students from other colleges within ASU, such as the School of Sustainability, as well as the School of Engineering. And so they worked on a project to put in place uh, different proposals that was um, presented in a city hall meeting and one of them was actually voted in and instituted. So just understand if you're coming within, if you're coming to the full-time MBA, um, you're certainly going to be working on some real world issues and putting together your own creative strategies as opposed to, you know, necessarily just cracking open a textbook and getting, you know, the, the lecture type learning. So you'll certainly be challenged within the confines of our classrooms and it's going to be a great experience for anybody that's interested. As far as the application process goes, um, I encourage everybody that's interested to go ahead for any of our MBA programs and take a look at our class profiles. We do not have score minimums, but what we do provide is the previous year's class averages. So that is an indication of, you know, the things that you'll have such as work experience, uh, GRE or GMAT, um, maybe your undergraduate GPA as well. Um, the class profile is really a good indication of if you are a strong applicant or if you have strong work experience or GRE or GMAT scores. And in relation to the GRE or GMAT, for those who have not taken the exam, um, we do understand that these times are quite unprecedented and um, some of the exam centers are closed to the public for now. So if you have not taken the exam and you still want to apply for an MBA, um, we do encourage you to reach out to us individually. Um, please reach out to us directly and we will provide our contact information um, before you guys leave this particular session. Um, so if you have not taken the exam and you're unable to take the exam at this time, we do provide different options. And the last thing that I'll mention before passing it over to my colleague Brandy is the full-time MBA has extended our deadline to June 1st. You may see on our website that the final deadline is April 1st, but please keep in mind, you will have until June 1st, and this is all in response to COVID-19. So Brandy, if you'd like to take it away from here. Thank you so much, Stephen. Okay, so I'm gonna chat with you about the Professional Flex MBA. The ProFlex, as we call it, is a top 25 program for part-time MBAs across the country. Um, this program set up for working professionals that wanna continue working while completing their MBA. Uh, this average student in this program has about six years of work experience after completing their bachelor's degree, but we do see a wide range within the work experience of students in this program. Um, I have some students that have been working, they have 15, 20 years of experience. Um, we have veterans in this program. Um, we have people under. So um, we look at every applicant holistically for all of our programs. So don't let certain numbers concern you in that sense. Um, this is great. This program is great for students that are looking for an on campus um, MBA experience. So the classes are offered two evenings a week, generally on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but it can vary. Um, this program only starts in the fall semester and you are in a cohort of other students. There would never be more than 60 students in a cohort. Right now, the class that started um, in the fall has about 40 to 45 students in a cohort. And then you are broken up into teams amongst that cohort as well. So you will get to know your cohort very well. You'll get to know, get to know everyone in the program. Um, and so that really does provide a lot of networking opportunities just within the program itself. And then there are online class options if needed. So that's where that flexibility comes in. Um, we understand some students may not be available two evenings a week or be able to take um, all the classes at the same time. And that's where you can also extend out the length of the program if you need to. Most students do decide to complete it in two years or four semesters, but you can extend it and know that that flexibility is there for you. Um, in this program, you're gonna complete the core MBA classes. There's 12 classes. And then you're also going to complete four electives. 
If you decide to, we offer over 40 different electives each year, and you can also have flexibility to, if there was a full, if you're available to take a full-time elective, we do have some ability to um, work amongst other programs electives as well. So we work with you to make sure you can find those really unique and um, specialized classes that you're looking for. You can complete an area of emphasis with a professional flex MBA. So if you wanted to emphasize your electives, you can choose marketing, international business, supply chain, finance, and also a new one next year will be data analytics. You'll still have the full support of our All right, unfortunately, it looks like we may have had a bit of a technical difficulty with Brandy. Brandy, can you hear us? Okay, I think we lost some of Brandy's sound. Um, please hop on if, if you get reconnected, Brandy, and we can, um, we can get you back started. I'll, I'll take over what she was talking about um, as far as the full support of our program operations team, as well as our career team. I know she's trying to join back in, so let's see if, if she's here. Can you hear us, Brandy? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, she's back, okay. Perfect, okay. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, so as I was saying, you will have the full support of career services as a part of this program. Um, in terms of applying, as what Steven mentioned, you know, we are being flexible. Um, with options for applications right now. Our final deadline to start this program in the fall is June 30th. And so we, I'd be happy to connect with you more after to share more with you about that as well. With the Fast Track MBA, um, if everything I just shared with you sounds like it would be a great fit, but you happen to already have completed a business school masters, then fast track would be a good option for you. Or if maybe you attended our specialized masters program session and you're kind of on the fence of which program you want to do, know that the fast track MBA is available for you. So basically if a student has already completed a masters in a business related field, so if you did a masters of accounting, a masters of finance, something through a business school, whether WP Carey or elsewhere, you can complete the fast track MBA, which is basically the core MBA curriculum. We're going to use some of the classes you completed already towards counting towards the electives and then counting towards maybe one or two of the core curriculum. So you're able to complete an MBA in fewer credits because we're using your prior experiences. So if there is a specialized master's program that you're really interested in, but you also want an MBA, this is a great way to combine the two where you could complete one of those specialized masters. And then as long as you have two years of full-time professional work experience, you could then also complete the Fast Track MBA or after you get that work experience, you could complete the Fast Track MBA within 12 to 18 months, but all the classes are going to be the profession or the professional flex classes. So offered in the evenings and on the same schedule as the professional flex. For students interested in the executive MBA, this program is for students with several years of progressive supervisory experience. Students in this program have experience managing people, budgets, and making key decisions. Generally, students in this program have 10 or more years working as a supervisor or having those higher level decision making experience, um, professional experiences. This program runs every other week on Fridays and Saturdays from eight to five. So you would be in class every other weekend, basically Fridays and Saturdays. We do have people that travel in to complete this program. There is a both a traditional concentration and a healthcare concentration. So if you are in the healthcare field and we have many practitioners and healthcare executives that take advantage of that specialization within this program. This is a what we call a concierge style program. It's all inclusive in terms of what's provided to you while in the program. It includes meals during class times, um, a lot of different resources, and those can be seen on the website of what's provided with this program. And it is very highly ranked. It's ranked um, number 12 for executive MBAs worldwide. 
and we are still accepting applications for this program through June 30th as well. Um, there is no GRE or GMAT requirement for this program because of the specialized nature of what we are looking for um, in applicants based off of their work experience. And I'm going to pass it over to my colleague, Naomi, who's going to tell you more about our online MBA. Thanks, Brandy. So our online MBA, as Stephen and Brandy were just talking about the rankings, this one is ranked number 10 in the country for all of MBA, as well as ranked number six for our veterans MBA. So just wanted to throw those out for you. Our online MBA, as the other ones, is the same curriculum. It is a two-year program. It's lockstep. You do have your core classes as well as your electives. With the elective options, you do have the option to choose an area of emphasis, which we have five to choose from. It's finance, international business, marketing, supply chain management, and the one not listed online is our big data analytics. So that's exciting. We also have options for international elective. So you can travel with members of your cohort to different international locations where we have different programs over spring break and fall break. So what's nice about this program is it's 100% online. So you may be looking for an MBA, but your work is very rigorous. You're outside of Arizona. So you still get a top ranked MBA inside your home, which is really nice. And just like our ProFlex students, it's a very similar class profile. So we have strong GMAT scores, GRE scores, um, we have a minimum of two years of work experience, but as Becky mentioned before, it is an average around five to seven years of work experience. So we do like to see you being interactive in the classroom. We want to make sure that you're set up for success. So if you're wondering which MBA is best for you, please reach out to Stephen, Brandy, or myself. We'll definitely go over your background as every single one of you is really unique and you bring your different background to the table and to the classroom. We'd love to chat with you on which program would be best for you. And with that, we have a couple minutes left for our Q&A. So please use the chat box to write out your questions and then Becky will field the questions to one of us. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Naomi. Um, so as she mentioned, we do have, um, we've got about four minutes or so for any questions that you might have. So please feel free to type those right into the chat box. Um, great question right off the bat here. So um, this one is gonna be for Brandy. If you are someone who travels 10 to 15% of the time for work, how big of an obstacle would that be for the professional flex MBA? Great question, Kevin. So um, the classes are offered, so the cohorts are either on generally for core classes, it's Tuesdays and Thursday evenings or potentially Mondays and Thursday evenings. So I have worked with some students that if you have flexibility in how you're able to schedule your travel, maybe you can do it in the first part of the week and then be able to attend the Thursday class. Um, you're set for the schedule for the seven and a half weeks that you're enrolled in. So if you needed to do a class online and then do one of the classes on campus, you would need to commit to that for the seven and a half weeks that that's offered. So sometimes students, depending on when their travel is heavy or we had a student that works for Amazon, so they decided to take online classes during the holiday season. Um, you can work with the program operations team to work that out, but if you feel that you wouldn't be able to make that commitment during that time, then the online MBA may be a better fit. And I'll add to that as well. Um, you know, obviously, I think everyone in the world right now is understanding the complexity and the ability to be able to work remotely. And so um, something that we're able to do too is say, for example, if you have a, a trip Planned and it's just going to conflict with one class time, you can reach out to your faculty member and see if it would be okay if you zoom into that class. That does happen from time to time as well. Um, so if it doesn't apply to one full seven and a half week time frame, you have some, some availability there as well. Great question. I do want to note too, um, we did, uh, I did copy and paste in Stephen, Brandy, and Naomi's emails into the chat box there. So as they mentioned, if you do have any questions and you want to um, reach out to them individually, we are always more than happy as well to set up one-on-one -on -one appointments um, to get to know you a little bit, um, a little bit better and understand your specific questions too. 
Any other questions? We've got time for one more if we, um, if you want to put that right into the chat box. 